November 1977, short and English junior grade. Get ready for the dictation. Ten seconds. Five seconds. Start. Dear friends, I do not propose to talk today about the need for reforming our educational system. Great men and leaders of public opinion have, from time to time, talked about this subject. First of all, we have to be clear about the objectives that we wish to achieve through education. As you know, our country is at present engaged in the process of. economic progress we are now going through a period of industrial revolution a large number of industries are being started in all parts of the country for successfully managing these industries the country needs a large number of well trained technical people further we are going to implement the fourth five year plan the size of this plan will be equal to that of all the first three five year plans put together our requirements for technical people will be very much larger i therefore request all universities and technical institutions to take this into account and for increasing the number of students in technical courses the academic content of the technical education has to be good it is very much important that our young engineers and scientists should have a practical approach to these problems i would like them to use as far as possible their own hands in order to do a good job this approach will no doubt enable the country to make rapid progress in the matter of industrial development i would now like to say a few words to my young friends who have received their degrees and diplomas today the completion of education marks a turning point in the life of every individual all of you will be anxious to get suitable employment it is also essential that you should find means to live through our development plans employment opportunities are being created in an increasing way our fourth plan proposes to create 20 million jobs it cannot be said that every one of you will find employment immediately most of you would in due course find yourselves employed in one capacity or another there is equality of opportunity for everyone to a very great extent your future is really in your own hands whatever may be your position in future life each one of you should first of all think of yourselves as citizens of this country this confers on you certain rights which are assured by the constitution letter from the business manager mrs johnson and sons private limited bombay to mr n swami 26 high road madras 5 dear sir we are in receipt of your letter of the 7th instant we are very glad to inform you that 
we are very popular dealers in this part of the country in all kinds of sports materials for the last several years we have very great pleasure in enclosing our catalog which we hope you will find both interesting and helpful we have given a great deal of thought to the arrangement of our booklet and so we feel confident that it will meet with your approval may we draw your attention to the section of our booklet which deals with cups and medals you can rely on the high quality of these articles and we are certain that you will be pleased with them assuring you of our earnest services and prompt action yours very sincerely